I watched as a teenager the implosion of a developed and integrated environment uh, into genocidal uh, fury. What was extraordinary to me was to see how successful the manipulation of then state-controlled media in each of the former states of Yugoslavia had been in fundamentally transforming the perceptions of people in each of these places, of their attitudes towards each other. It is easy to mobilize idealistic young people. What was it in the minds of people that made them able uh, to commit mass murder? Extremist mindset and thinking is the positing of the superiority of one in-group over whatever the out-group is and the positing that that in-group must dominate over all others, whether by the subjugation of that out-group to its norms and its rules or by its elimination. The othering of people, the dehumanization of out-groups is the precursor to mass uh, murder. What I believe we're seeing today is the result of the rise of mainstreaming extremism. Different uh, variants of this ideology are on the rise and are playing a symbiotic uh, reinforcing role with each other. The growing extreme right movement, which has connected the dots across quite a wide spectrum ideologically, um, and has mobilized very strategically now. They are extremely potent and dangerous, and we underestimate them. The internet has played a role. We uh, have been watching extremist groups migrate online and use a whole spectrum of tools so effectively. ISIS, in many ways, uh, has been the standard bearer of the use of technology and social media for recruitment and radicalization. In two years, they were able to achieve real global domination with their strategy through a remarkable um, media brand operation. And, and this, this bleed between the various types of problem, fake news, misinformation, disinformation, hate speech, extremism. If we don't connect the dots quickly in that space, we won't be responding to what the problem already looks like. And if we don't quickly get ahead of the curve on the technologies that are being used uh, and do more, as in innovate to get ahead of them, we will be completely outdone. The fundamental threat we're facing is in fact not terrorism although that is a byproduct of some of this. The real threat that we're facing is social polarization in a massive sense. The sort of social polarization that can lead us to conflict.